Malvi Abdul Haq Urdu Mulwi Bidi Al the 20th of April 1870 to the 16th of August 1961 was a scholar and a linguist whom some call Baba e Urdu Urdu Babe Ardo father of Urdu Abdul Haq was a champion of the Urdu language and the demand for it to be made the national language of Pakistan Topic Early life Abdul Haq was born on 20 April 1870 in Hapur city in Meerut district, now Hapur district Uttar Pradesh in India. He developed an affinity for the Urdu, Dakani, Persian and Arabic languages. He obtained a BA degree from Aligarh Muslim University in 1894 where he was in the company of some upcoming politicians, scholars of that time including, Shibli Namani, Syed Ahmed Khan, Ras Massoud, Mohsen ul Mulk, Syed Mahmud, Thomas Walker Arnold, and Babu Mukherjee. After graduation, Haq went to Hyderabad Deccan and dedicated himself to learning, teaching, translating and upgrading Urdu. He was deeply influenced by Syed's political and social views, and, following his wishes, learned English and scientific subjects. Like Syed Ahmad Khan, Haq saw Urdu as a major cultural and political influence on the life and identity of the Muslims of India. He founded the Anjuman Tariqi-i Urdu in 1903 in Aligarh. Arnold became its first president and Shibli nominee the first secretary. Hawk joined the Indian civil service under the British Raj, and worked as a chief translator at the Home Department in Delhi, before being appointed as the provincial inspector of schools at Aurangabad in the central provinces. In the same year, he was appointed secretary of the All India Mohammedan Educational Conference, which had been founded by Syed Ahmed Khan in 1886 for the promotion of education and intellectualism in Muslim society. He became principal of Asmania College Aurangabad and retired from that position in 1930. <inaudible> <inaudible> Educational and political activities Following the establishment of the Asmania University by the Nizam Osman Ali Khan, Asif Jah VII of the Hyderabad State in 1917, Haq moved to Hyderabad State to teach and help build the university. All subjects at the university were taught in Urdu, and under Haq's influence, the institution became a patron of Urdu and Persian literature. Appointed as chairman of the department, faculty of Urdu, Haq emerged as a literary critic and writer in the intellectual life of Hyderabad. He published works of Urdu poetry, as well as treatises on linguistics, Islam, history, politics, and philosophy. His relatives live yet in Hapur, Uttar Pradesh, India. His nephew was Hamid Hassan, and his son Ahmad Arif live with his family in Hapur. Haq was a scholarly critic who provided criticisms of modern Urdu works and encouraged his students to develop literary skills and appreciation of Urdu. Following his retirement from Asmania University in 1930, Hawk worked to compile and edit a comprehensive and authoritative English Urdu dictionary. Hawk was also active in the Anjuman i Hamayat i Islam, a Muslim socio political body of intellectuals. He also led the Anjuman Tariqi i Urdu, Organization for the Progress of Urdu, which had been founded in 1903 by a group of Urdu scholars, intellectuals, and students. Initially focusing on intellectual subjects, later in 1930, Hawk led the group in protests against a campaign by Indian nationalists to promote the use of Hindi as the national language of British India. Hawk became a critic of Indian leader Mohandas Gandhi and the Indian National Congress and joined the All India Muslim League led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. In Pakistan In 1948, Haq migrated to Pakistan. In the wake of migration and the accompanying riots in 1947, much of his property, especially valuable manuscripts, papers and books were lost. However, some of the material which he brought to Pakistan is kept in the Urdu Dictionary Board Library. The ordeals of partition and the migration also adversely affected Abdul Haq's health. He reorganized the Anjuman Tariqi e Urdu in Karachi, launching journals, establishing libraries and schools, publishing a large number of books, and promoting education in the Urdu language and linguistic research in it. Abdul Haq's work especially helped preserve the distinct Old Urdu linguistic and literary traditions of Hyderabad, known as Hyderabadi Urdu. 
He also used his organization for political activism, promoting the adoption of Urdu as the lingua franca and sole official language of Pakistan. He criticized the popular movement in East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, to demand the recognition of the Bengali language, stressing his belief that only Urdu represented Muslim heritage and should be promoted exclusively in national life. Condemning the 1952 language movement agitations in former East Pakistan, he showed apparent dislike over the decision of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan to make Bengali a second official language. With the help of the Anjuman and sympathetic political parties, he organized a major series of public rallies and processions in Lahore and Karachi on the 22nd of April 1954. He is criticized for his insistence on Urdu as the sole official language of Pakistan, a cause which served to intensify the sectional gulf within the country and later led to the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. He was active in educational development in Andhra Pradesh, especially in the Railseema region of Andhra Pradesh, as Mania College. Kurnool is still an example of his great contribution. Death. Despite illnesses and failing health, Hawk continued to promote the active use of Urdu as a medium for all educational activities. He pushed for the creation of an Urdu college in Karachi, the adoption of Urdu as a medium of instruction for all subjects in educational institutions and worked to organize a national Urdu conference in 1959. Suffering from cancer, Hawk died after a prolonged period of incapacitation on 16 August 1961 in Karachi. Baba-e-Urdu's publications For his achievements in the development and promotion of Urdu literature, he is officially regarded as Baba-e-Urdu. His best-known works include the English Urdu Dictionary, Chandham Asar, Maktubat, Mukadamat, Takidat, Kawait e urdu and Dabaka Dastan Rani Ketka. The Anjuman Tariqi e urdu remains an important intellectual organization in Pakistan. Held in high esteem amongst the intellectuals, educationalists and scholars in Pakistan, Haq is praised for his work in promoting Muslim heritage and Urdu as a unifying medium for Pakistani Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> Commemorative postage stamp issued in 2004 In recognition of his services to Urdu literature, Pakistan Post issued a commemorative stamp in his honor on 16 August 2004 in its Men of Letters series. See also Baba-e-Urdu Jamiluddin Aali Sahar Ansari Josh Malahabadi Anjuman i Tariqi i Urdu